So it looks like the scenario is um, extra goods. Um, scenario number four, career scenario with the uh, GWR14XX. The goods van needs to be taken to Penryn along with the midday auto train. Now, I did briefly have a quick run on this one uh, when I was at work and uh, driving the auto train is actually really really good fun because uh, some of the commands are actually issued by bell bell commands back to the uh, fireman who's in the, uh, the steam loco. A goods van needs to be taken to Penryn along with the midday auto train. Uh, you are to collect the van here at Falmouth and drive to Penryn where you will drop it off and then continue on to Truro. You are also to collect passengers at all stations en route. Begin by driving forward to Falmouth water column and refilling the tanks. And then while moving around you should stay under 15 miles per hour. And you can drive forwards in reverse until you have stopped at Falmouth down platform where you should change the auto pitch. Excellent. So advanced mode is on, let's just double check. Advanced mode is on. Hey Marino, it, it'll be. Uh, it won't be today. I already had today planned. So, uh, right, let's get the brakes released. Don't need to. They're already off. Shit. Not quite far enough forward. Filling up the uh, tender at the moment with water. Let's get the blower on, get some steam in there. Water. All right, drive forward to Palmer's Goods Dock 2. So we will need to change some points, I think, to do that. Nope, we're clear to go in. Kick the van off the track. It is a train out of Thomas, it's Oliver. Reverse and stop at Falmouth Approach 1, and I will need to double check my points again because that one needs changing. done a dangerous thing here, I've turned the cylinder cocks off. This can only end in tears. Mm. 
now I need to change that one and that one. Falmouth Down platform next. Right, we need to change the points manually, which I've done. Uh, Woody, am I doing two people's jobs? Uh, yes. I've got the firing controls here. And I've got driving controls here. Oh yes, you're quite right, Doc. I'll get that done in just a minute. Change to the auto coach and then pick up passengers. We're due to part at 1.32. So now in the auto coach. Woo pick up passengers. So an auto coach, yes, yeah, so as uh, Pete just said, it's a coach with a driving cab that's mechanically connected to the loco. So I'm standing here now, and clearly this is a coach. Yeah, there's no, uh, there I am, look, that's me, in case you didn't realise. And then there's wires that go all the way back here and uh, connect to uh, what's going on in the, uh, the loco. Very much so, Panda, an old-fashioned DUT, yes. Headlight on. <laughs> right, let's get going. So we need to. Uh... So I've got control over the throttle, but in order to get the reverser to work, or to get the frame brakes to release, I need to tell the driver to do his thing. So the, the uh, fireman just operated the. Uh... Tears, Mariano, Marino. Next stop is Penmere, one point one miles.
So we're going to be stuffing a pen mare. Okay, okay Pete, thanks for that. So we're right in thinking, Peter, this was like a second iteration on the uh, from the Steam Rail motor, because I think there's a lot of shared resource between the two, isn't there? Steam Rail motor version 2, without the Steam bit. Penryn is the next station. Hey, uh, Thomas Blade. Oh, no, Thomas Blade's gone. Yeah, I like the old Steam Era branch line. So I must admit, I quite like this one. And again, as you say. Pete's breathed a bit of new life into this route by putting some nice low clothes on it. Hey Marino, welcome back. This kind of is where you ride along multiplayer, isn't it, Woody? <laughs> practice, practice is good, isn't it, Pete? It helps. Yes, I should probably say Karma is the uh, is the uh, author of this and many other locos, uh, being Mr. Victory Works himself. Uh, Jesse, the big boy is very easy because um, the steam physics have been set up in such a way that actually make it uh, 
exceptionally uh, an exceptionally good steamer. It basically never runs out of steam. Uh, train boy, I am controlling the throttle and I'm applying the brakes. Uh, the uh, fireman back in the steam engine in here is controlling the cutoff and releasing of the brakes using the ejector. Me. I don't need to push too hard because we're going into a 30 limit. That and of course we're stopping here. push in here. See you tomorrow Marino. Thanks for joining us. If you do get this one, I highly recommend reading the manual. There's lots of really good information in there that you'll be uh, having a major problem with if you don't uh, read the manual. Right, so where are we going after this? We're going to drop that in the up platform. Then we're going to drop that in the head shunt. Let's have a look where the head shunt is. Oh, I see. Drop that back in there. Then we'll pick up the auto coach and then carry on our way. Alright, that sounds good. So we're going to need that. And we're going to also need to switch back to the loco for this bit. Right, press control equals and then uh, uncouple from the auto coach. Push the goods van into Fenrin headshots. That noise is the safety is going off.
Yeah, I remember the uh, cylinder clocks before I started moving. <laughs> I know that with any Victory Works loco, it's the most important thing you have to do on the loco, just about. Safety is a real pleasure, isn't it? Wow! Still managed to bang into it. Switch back and then get on with the next journey. Apologies for all the noise. Let me just turn the game down a little bit so that we're not all getting completely deafened. Hey, Daily Rail, host Pipe Mike, welcome back. Dave M84, welcome back. Sorry, I've not been paying much attention to the chat window because I've been uh, driving a rather harder Steam Loco than normal. Thoroughly enjoying it though, hope you're enjoying watching it.
When I figure out how hex I I will. It gets one more chance. Don't need that kind of abuse. Next station is Perimwell. told him to uh, put it back and apply, disable the release.
sitting around 75% coal. Hey, Noxide, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> when I figure out how to do the unban, I will, but I can't figure out how to do it at the moment, if I'm brutally honest. Okay, Noxide, you're unbanned. Last stop at Truro Bay Platform. say this is a real pleasure to drive absolutely brilliant it's um i really like things that aren't the uh, the same old same old and this is definitely not the same old same old it's uh, very unique beautifully implemented well done pete thank you for making it what do you want Matt to fail at yeah thank you that's a really nice poll <laughs> liquid refreshment needed so what we're driving here is the GWR 14XX <clears throat> little steam engine that's the bit you'd be most most familiar with we're driving it from the auto coach on steam which is quite appropriate really Two point seven miles. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong there, Pete. <laughs> You'll have to look back through the video and see what I've done. If anyone can break it, it's me. I've done tons of American commuter stuff, Woody. But I'm happy to do some more. Maybe not tonight, it's midnight, but for a future broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I like that hashtag there, train boy. That's a neat hashtag. And I think many people would agree. Oh, slam door trains, Woody. That's an excellent show. Going down a 1 in 66 gradient at the moment. So I've put a gentle brake application on. Moobot might not like it if we do that train, but just warning just saying yes they swing back shut again don't they slowed down now for the 30 limit here Welcome Hurricane Mama, Panda1967, thanks for joining us. I really do like this route. This is not a fairly old route, but uh, it works very well. I think that wasn't a bad run. I'm quite happy with that. Flip the milk truck. There you go. That's the one to do.
have a quick look before we go. Check this out. There's a screenshot for you. And that's safety. Another successful journey, well done. What did we get? 994! Excellent, I'm happy with that. Ah, the soothing sound of silence. 994 gold medal. I'm happy with that. That's excellent. Hey, you didn't kill anyone. That's a first. Thanks, train boy. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone with this spad. The brakes would have just come on and I'd have stopped and been fired. Um, yeah, that was good. That was really good. Highly recommend that one if you haven't already picked it up. Just because it's a really, really unique driving experience. Beside the fact that the... Uh, um, the models are fabulous. Uh, there's a bunch of other little surprises in the pack as well. Make sure you read the manual. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's seven minutes past midnight, and uh, I'm going to uh, sign off now. Uh, that's the end of the show. That was the uh, 218, the 303, and the 14XX. They all will be on YouTube um, sometime tomorrow, probably. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're done. Thanks very much for joining. If you haven't already, press the follow button and uh, go and look up on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, 9.30 as usual. Cheers. Bye-bye.